Okay. Are you, we can hear you now, I think. Okay, can you hear me now? Is that a thumbs up? Thumbs up. Good. Oh, my goodness me. What a thing, the internet. Gosh, we do rely on it. I've never seen, heard anything like it. Okay, let's go cracking. And please, I hope you stuck with me. I really do. I am very sorry for this delay. How late are we? Ten minutes? Yeah, I have no idea. My computer's telling me the wrong time. Ten minutes. Okay. Right. We're about ten minutes late. I'm terribly, terribly sorry. This has never happened before, I tell you. Right, let's start. So the first thing we're going to do is make the baked beans. Now, I have got the onion already chopped. Um, I'm wondering, I'm hoping you have as well. If you haven't, do not panic. We will give you time to catch up because when I actually start doing this, we will give you time to sort of just to relax. We'll go on a little bit longer today. Now, I've got three tins of haricot beans here, all right? But I did do 300 grams of dried, my dry haricot beans myself. I thought, why not? I was a bit concerned. So when you do this next time, get your dried haricot beans, you soak them overnight, you then put them into boiling water with a carrot, an onion, or a bay leaf or whatever, and let's boil them up for about 45 minutes to an hour. And then you've got the most delicious haricot beans. So once you've got that, so I won't bother to use these. I'll put this over here. There we go. That's for you to do. Right, we're going to have in this, we're going to have some Liam parents, some Tabasco, some tomato, um, chopped up tomato, some delicious paprika, tomato ketchup, why not? A little bit of puree, chili. Chili is up to you, how much you want to do and how much the children can take. So it's totally up to you. Garlic and some parsley. And I've also kept the uh, juice of this, that is the water from the beans that I cooked. Otherwise use vegetable stock that I suggested, 400 mils. This is 400 mils. So we'll see how it goes. I've allowed a little extra. So that's it. Now, the first thing I'm going to do this week, um, I'm using a bit of olive oil, but you could use rapeseed oil as well. Now, all I'm going to do is pop in some oil into there and I'm going to soften the chopped onion. Now, what we're going to do, just make sure you get it all out. I'm also, you don't have it on a high heat. I only want to soften it. I don't want to brown it, all right? So we'll pop this here. Perfect. Turn it down, not too hot. Right, we're gonna put a little bit of chili in there now. I'll just put that on top. There we are. If you're still chopping, please don't worry. We'll, we will stick with you. Um, and we just tell Tom, he's, he's on the, um, he's on the, what's name today? Well, what's name? He's on the actual questions today. So that'll be all very, that'll be cool. So here we go. Take this off tomato puree. We'll put that to one side. Right, okay. So for this, wham, wham. Wham, wham. Now, first thing, I'm going to put a little bit of salt in here. Put a little bit of coarse sea salt. There we are, just to get it up. Now, this just helps with flavour with the garlic. Canada has joined us. Jane, lovely. Well, I tell you, if you were on earlier, you would have seen an absolute nightmare of a process. We, our internet went down. And before we start, can we just say a massive thank you to, uh, to Great Garnet. Yes. Oh, the pork is delicious. Thank you so much, Great Garnets. It's absolutely yummy. I love the look of your bacon. I love... May I tell everybody, this was straight from the pig farm. And they actually have been absolutely amazing. They've given me some gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So I'd like to thank them very much indeed. It is yummy. Delicious, yummy. Your chops, as you sent, were... Quite frankly, delicious. But also, so were eggs to so were eggs to apples as well. They were delicious. I haven't been in to pay them yet. I haven't been, <laughs> I haven't been able to get there. So, um, right now. So that's softened. That's all you need to do, guys. All right? Now, the sauce. So we've got 
normally, may I tell you, I would put this, the sauce, once I've cooked it, I would actually put it into a liquidizer and puree it. But as you know, I'm not going to do that because it's not fair for those who don't have process and liquidizers. So I'm going to pop the... So we've, we've actually, uh, Chef, we've still got people joining us. Oh, good. So um, should we just already start with a cheeky recap? Oh, yes, absolutely. So what have I got here? I have got... Let me just turn this right down. Hang on. Let me just turn this right down. Right. I have got... I'm making a delicious... Um, tomato sauce to go with my haricot beans, which ends up as my own baked beans. Now, the beautiful thing about making your own baked beans is you know what's gone into it. I'm not saying certain brand is not good. I love Hyde's baked beans. I'm going to say I love it. But actually, this is absolutely delicious. And it's fresh. It's healthy. The whole thing is brilliant, and you know exactly what, as I said, has gone into it. And I just think it's such a fun thing to do. Um, and also, it makes the most delicious puree as well. So if you want to puree it, you can serve puree with lamb. For instance, Easter's coming. You can have a lovely haricot bean puree, baked bean puree. How delicious. Children would love it. So all this sort of thing is absolutely yummy. So what we need to do is just pop this in here. Now... As I said, my normally my sauce that I do is very, very smooth. But as I said, today I'm not going to make it smooth because I want to do it all in one go because I want to I get it up a bit. I want to do it all in one go because I want to, um, there's not time, but also I want people to be able to do it at home. So what else is going into my delicious baked beans? What's the sauce, of course? Henderson's, Ollie and Perrin's, whatever you want. Now, bung it in. Now, I love this. I love all this going in. Henderson's is very nice from Yorkshire. Now, Tabasco, chili, depends what you want. If you like it spicy, go for it. So a few, few bits of that. You can easily add more if you want more. Now, delicious paprika. So I'm going to pop this in. So here I'm going to have, I'll take this, I think, oh no, I'll take this, some paprika. Delicious. Now I'm going to put quite a lot in because I like that flavor, slightly smoky flavor. Now I'm also going to put in a bit of tomato ketchup. Why not? It's absolutely delicious. So we're going to bung that in, tomato ketchup. Okay. Mix it all up. There we are. I'll just take this out of the way. Okay. And what I'd like to do is, now, we're going to put, and I'd like to now put, please, get rid of this, all of this, please. Thank you. Thank you. And what I'd like to do is just put a couple of teaspoons of sugar in here. A couple of, there we are. Off we go. I will see how we go. We don't want too much. Now, the other thing I'm going to put in is some seasoning, some salt. Okay. Now, you've noticed I've used some coarse sea salt. The reason being for that is because, to be honest with you, it's, it has to melt. But when I use things for fine salt, it's meant it doesn't melt so much. So you use, it's much easier to judge using a fine sea salt than another one. Now, Obviously, now at this point, I would take that away and I would puree it, as I said. But I'm not going to. So it's going to be a bit sort of what I call rough. So we're now going to put in our leftover juice from the beans. Now, if you've got tin, will you, um, what I'd like you to do is just go and drain your tin, okay? Don't put it in, don't put your haricot beans in yet because they are very well cooked. So I would like to put that in, which is my bean juice. There we go. Now it's already beginning. Right, at this point, we're now going on to the tomato puree. So there's a lot of ingredients in there, yeah, but you need it to get the final result. So I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons in here. As you know, put that in. That's it. Bingo. Now, 
can we do a big shout out to Mark and Kate? Mark was doing his first football loss. Oh, Mark. He turned down the sausage roll. Oh, Mark. Hi. Hello. How are you? Hang on. Oh, my God, that's so delicious. How are you? Well, welcome. Mm. Welcome to our cook along. Great fun. So it's not going to be quite so chaotic this weekend <laughs> because Tom joined me, but he will join me again because it's good fun. Um, there we are. I've got a question. When does, uh, from, um, from Hina, when does tomato puree go in? It's going in now. So I would like you to see the texture, what it's at. Now, if you can go onto this camera, guys, and I want to show people what it's like. Now, obviously, if you want it smooth, you just put it into a liquidizer. But we are having a course for people who don't have liquidizers. Um, so if, I mean, I could show you what it's like if it's not. Uh, but I just feel it, um, it wouldn't be really very fair if I did it. So we're going to have it caught. We're going to have coarse baked beans, the mixture. And actually, I think that would be rather nice, to be honest with you. Right. I'm now going to put my harica beans in. I don't want you to put your drained ones in yet, as I said, because mine aren't as cooked um, as yours will be. Now, I'm going to put this in. Oh, look at that. Right. What needs to happen now? I need to cook this now for quite a long time. So for the rest of the day, for the rest of the day, that is going to cook off. Okay. I mean, the rest of the hour. Well, it'd probably be a bit longer than an hour, won't it? Right. Okay. So that is actually how easy it is. That's all it is. Just quickly from Lee, is the stock in? Yes. I put 400 mils of stock into there. And you can see that, I hope you can see now, that is exactly right. So what's going to happen? I'm going to change. I'm going to put the lid on, actually, first of all. Can we do a recapture? Definitely. Right. What we did was we put in, we sauteed the onions, the garlic, the chili, and then we softened it all off. Then I put in um, a tin of tomatoes, chopped tomatoes. They were, but it was very fine chopped tomatoes. They weren't pieces of tomato because I needed, you could put passata in there or something if you've got passata. Then I put in, um, what else did I put in? I put in the uh, Worcester sauce or Henderson sauce, whatever you've got. I put in Tabasco. I put in some coarse sea salt, about a good teaspoon of coarse sea salt because nothing seasoned. And I put in two teaspoons of caster sugar. Now, I use golden caster sugar, Billington's golden caster sugar, but if you don't do that, it doesn't matter. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually just cut up well, I've got the board here. Here we are. I'm going to cut up that. Could I have a bowl from that cupboard there, please? And I'm going to put this into a little bowl. A little, no, no, one below. The little thing. I've not only got a new young man here who's helping with the, with the uh, delivery and all my stuff. So it's his first day to sort of do it this way. So a very interesting question. Far away. Can you throw it in the oven at this point yes. and finish it off? Yes. Now, that is what I would do. If I had time, I would actually put it in the oven and forget about it for an hour. That's exactly what I would do. Well done, Jane. Good, great. Well, that's, that's the right way. But actually, as it happens, I wanted to do it on top because we're going to use, although I've got two ovens, but I'm not going to be show-offy. We're going to use, um, I love my, I love my KitchenAid ovens, you see, I just adore it. Um, we're going to use the, uh, the stop because it'll be presumed not everybody has. Can I please have the, that? Thank you, possibly. Have it. Now, okay, so that's, this is a little bit of vegetable stock that actually I've got in case I do need it. Because remember, it's going to sit there and do nothing. It's just going to cook. So I might need to loosen it off. So I'm going to put it there out of the way. Right. The lovely sausage meat. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Now, Sage. Um, I will take that board back, actually, because I will need that a little bit. Don't you love my board? I'm selling these. I just adore it. I put, look, little things, little things in here. 
it's lovely. I've got to find some lovely little, lovely little brass things to put on it too, so people will have its little brass things. Now, sage, you've got to be really careful with. I love sage, but sage is a very, very strong herb, so you can't overdo it. Now, I have to tell you, I've got to be honest, this rabble I have here, sitting here, that come in my little bubble each week, love sausage rolls. So they made me put two packets of meat in, and I said, they did say to me, do you think I've got enough pastry? Well, I'll just carry on until my pastry is finished. That's all I'll do. And when it runs out, it runs out. Now, so what I'm going to do to actually take the... Oh, just a question, a uh, few questions here. Far away, lots actually, of questions. Um, Jane, at 350 degrees, 350? Uh, three, that's Fahrenheit. So basically, basically, um, yes, 350 is very good in the middle. Uh, and and uh, Caroline... How long before the tin beans go in, please? Right. I would like to reduce your liquid for about five minutes. It probably, it's probably okay now. Put it in now because it should have gone down the liquid a little bit. Um, if you've got it, I've got a pretty wide casserole dish here. So you'll probably be all right. Just shove it in. Put the lid on and put it in the oven. Or I'll put leave it on the top. But you have to be careful if they are particularly, I don't know, there's so many brands. I The reason, one of the reasons why actually I did soak the beans is I actually got hold of some haricot beans, not the tin ones I've got here, which I think were better, in a jar. But they're so, they were so soft that actually it wouldn't have worked. So you have to be quite careful not to overdo it. I think, I think the best thing is put, put it in, we'll see what happens. And if we have to drain the beans off a little bit later and just reduce the liquid a bit more, we'll do it that way. All right. Um, it's always, it is, I've only done it because I thought people just might not have the time to do it and also to see another alternative. But the fact I've actually done, I did 300, so you can write it down. I did 300 of dried haricot beans and soaked it in cold water overnight. Now, here I go. So, normally I just put it on top, like this. Now, the other thing is that the actual sage bruises very, very easily and goes black. So you have to be very careful with it, you know, because, so basically it's best to do it, if you can, once, because it, it, it gives a better flavor. Now, here, what have I got? I've got some delicious chili powder and some delicious allspice. So I'm going to shove this. I know, I know this is in sausage meat, but I'm making my own flavor. Um, I use belly of pork as well. I've also got here cooked leeks. Okay. We have a question, sorry, um, from uh, the best. First of all, when you're looking fat. Fantastic, baby. <laughs> Thank Can you. Can we ask whether the type of pan makes a difference to your cooking? Cast iron, stainless steel? That sort of well, I have to tell you, I'm going to be honest. No, my cookie's always wonderful. You know that, don't you? <laughs> but what happens? It helps. When you have a good pan, it really helps the cooking because the way it cooks, it cooks it evenly and doesn't buckle. So I always say it's worth making an investment with good, good pans. Even if you bought one pan a year, it doesn't matter. Um, I think for me, the pans are incredibly important. So, you know, I'm going to, um, and also the other thing that's important is knives. So knives are incredibly important. So a good knife also, and good pans, uh, it's part of the cook's trade. You know, you have to do it. You do do it. And that's what it's all about. Now, what I'm going to do, before I do anything else, I normally put some breadcrumbs if I was having pork belly here. But because it is pork mince, it is um, just uh, uh, sausage meat, I'm not going to put the breadcrumbs in. Now, what the breadcrumbs do, you soak it in a bit of milk. It makes it lighter. What happens to, what happens to meat it's, it's, it solidifies itself. The protein holds on to its own thing when it cooks. It goes through this process of literally hanging on to their life with all this stuff. But 
what it does, it makes it, as I said, lighter. And I would add a little bit of milk to it. And um, absolutely delicious. When I did sausages, I used to make sausages. Um, I went into a butcher's and learned the hard way. And um, I tell you, fascinating. But you know the reason why they do it. But sometimes for me, I, I, I like to put my own in because, you know, but this is particularly good sausage meat. Sometimes they use a little bit too much bread. But hey -ho. if you go to a good farm shop, which is what this is all about, my farm shops. I love my farm shops. You know, I'm hoping with all the farm shops out there that we are actually getting somewhere. I hope that we are really, you know, getting people out there and sort of finding out more about your local farm shop because this is what it's all about, helping the farm shops and also getting people knowing where it comes from because the one thing you can guarantee is farm shops will know where every single thing comes from not just not just meat i mean butchers know as well i have a fabulous butcher um by me and they are incredible but the thing is they'll know where all the vegetables come from they'll know where everything and the most important thing it's all seasonal um we have, we've actually got a, just someone saying uh, eve is saying look would you please and are very Yes, yeah, go on. Yes, of course you can recap. No problem. Can I also ask you this thing that I watch you do now a few times? You do your seasoning in your paper on the board. Yes, I do, always. Why uh, do you do that? Oh, why do I do the seasoning and the base? The reason why is because um, I can cut it finely, that's why. I don't want to cut it on my top. Ooh, I don't want to cut it on my top. So, now, I'm going to take this off. A recap. Coming, a coming. Okay, so we're going to. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's all done. Hang on, hang on. I'm just going to do this. Wait a minute. Just wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going to recap. I haven't been... Right. So what are we done? We've got pork mince, um, the sausage meat. We've got what I've done is I put cooked leeks on, which I had done earlier. I think we did suggest you did that earlier because um, I wanted it to be cold when I actually put it with the mince, pork mince. Um, then we've got, uh, I'm just going to turn this down actually. Then we've got, um, I put some spices, the chili, nutmeg, and all the spices, all spice to go in. Um, garlic, I've put in sage, I've seasoned it. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper in there. It's already in there, but I've put a bit more. Um, I'm not going to put the sugar. You know, I use sugar for seasoning. I'm not going to put that in. Right, I'm now going to do this. Now, the only thing to do is this with your hands. So really get it in there, really. So it's absolutely delicious. These sausage rolls are absolutely yummy, yum, yum. Right, now just push it in. But they have got me a lot of mints to make a lot of sausage rolls. I could probably make a hundred with this. Is the egg for glazing the pastry? The egg, the, the egg is for glazing the pastry. Absolutely right. Right, now, there we are, so we got it. How delicious is that? Oh, that's yummy. Yummy, paste. I've got it, it's all in there, all the garlic, everything's in there. All the recipes I'm, I'm, yes, I'm going to, hang on Tom, I'm going, you're getting too used to being in front of the camera. Do you know he wants to be in front of the camera? I'm not letting him. Hang on, just wash my hands. Right. Okay. Those who saw him last week, those who saw him last week, I have to tell you, they waft. They literally waft everything down straight afterwards. There was nothing left. It was hysterical. They loved it. They loved it. But that's what food is all about. Happy family. Now, could you please, Tobias, could you go and get me some um, pastry, puff pastry out of that? Just one, please, not two. Now, this is my egg. Make sure it is in there. Can you see it? <laughs> Got it. Just one. Got it. Right. Okay. Now, I hope your ovens are on. If not, turn them on now. Okay, 190, please. And then I'll turn them down as soon as they get in. Now, I would like you to put 
some trays in the oven, please. Put trays into the oven. Just plain baking trays. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, when I can find it, oh, don't you lose everything in your comb? I lose everything. Right, I'm going to now get this. I'm always losing stuff. There we are. What I'm going to do is now take some grease through paper for me to put them onto. Now, the most important thing, the reason why I want hot trays is because when I put the sausage rolls on, then they'll heat the underneath and seal it very, very quickly. So it's a little trick we have. There we are. Right, okay, there's two. For the moment, I'm just going to do two for the moment. Right, we're going to now take my puff pastry. Okay. Hang on. There we are. Put it all away in the bin. Right. I'm now going to... Okay, I've got my standing knife, but you just need a very sharp knife. Um, I just use a standing knife. Okay. Never ever have puff pastry out. Those who've got it out, um, I would just put your sausage rolls in the fridge for a moment before you actually cook them because it'll firm the pastry up. If your pastry is too soft, it's a bit more difficult. So what I do is I bash it. It comes out. And we've actually got a question from Nino again. How many sausage rolls will 500 grams of <laughs> uh, a lot. I would think about at least 30 or 30, something like that. Yes, a lot. That's why we're going to have lots of sausage rolls. But mine aren't very big, I'm warning you now. This is only, this is only, I think this is only 200, 250 grams. So I'm from another... Right, I'm going to roll this out. So those who've got already pre-rolled, don't worry. Good. It's great. There we are. I'm not averse to having things pre-rolled at all, actually. Not when it comes to puff pastry. If people have problems, you know? Right. There we are. Push. There we go. Oh, that's got to be enough. You don't want it thin. Don't want it too thin. Okay. Right. Here we are. I'm just going to do something because I've not even looked at this yet. So let me just do this. Oh, I need to put it on a slightly lower heat, to be honest with you. So I'm going to just... I'll just do that. Oh, I've made myself filthy. Look. Oh, God, I've got myself all top. Never mind. Right. Okay. So how are we going to do this? This is the trick. I love doing this sort of thing. We're going to take some sausage meat. Okay. Now, you're going to make really thin ones. So we're going to start. I'm not going to make thick ones like this. Bring it down. I hope the children are getting involved with this because they would love it. And it's such a lovely thing for them to do. Right, first bit. Okay. This isn't really straight, which bit of bore, but never mind. I'll have to take that little bit. Get that side. Right, once you've got that, I'm now going to, this is the bit I really enjoy, take my egg, I've done. And I'm just going to go like that. Literally, go like that. Okay, right. While it's still attached, I'm going to push over like that. Like that. So it's all over, 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 over. Right. And that's it. Okay. Right, done. One lot. So let me just now make this all, so it's all very uh, knife, neat. Oh, I'm going bananas. 
Right, take this off. There we are. Over. Right, you always have the underside first, okay? So I'm going to do that first. So what I'm going to do is just pop that there for a second before I start cutting. There we go. So let's do another one. Can you, can you see this, guys? Hope so. Okay, more. Oh, so easy. So easy. This pork is absolutely wonderful, may I tell you. I'm really looking forward to it. Right. Keep going. Well done. I tell you, it's worth getting good produce, seriously. It's really worth getting quality stuff because it makes a huge difference with flavour. Right. And these little piggies were running around. There we are. Absolutely. They were little, literally running around. I'm just going to do this. So it's there. There we are. Over. Wash my hand. Oh, wash my hands on the air. This will be fit for, for, fit for nothing afterwards. Never mind. Right. Bring it over. Over we go. Over we in. See how I pushed it in. Now over. Push it in. Push it in. Over. Push it in. Over. Over. Push it in. Over. It's almost like it's like a sushi. Just a question from Joe, Joe and Kim. Yeah. Is the belly pork just whizzed up thing? Belly pork is whizzed up. That's all it is. Yeah, literally whizzed up. Nothing else. Yeah. There we are. Perfect. Just open it up a little bit so I go underneath. Perfect. Now that's underneath. Got my second one. I'm gonna have rather a lot of the, rather a lot here, so it's all good. Now, next one, I might as well just do this so I know what's gonna happen. So I'll put it on top so it's easy quicker. Right. So I could have actually, which is what I do sometimes, is literally just put lines and then I just do one after the other, but I'm doing one at a time for you guys because I think it's probably easier if you're not used to doing so many so quickly because that's how you can do hundreds in no time literally hundreds right but that's what being about cookery is all about so if we're going here see now i have to tell you i'm going to get some more puff pastry out in a second there we go bring that forward okay wash my hands over I go. What did I do? I pulled it in like that and pulled it in like that. And let me just put a bit more in because actually it's going a bit further because I put more than usual. These are big ones, not little ones. Right. Okay. So there you go. So that's my next lot. Right, what I'm going to do is just leave it at that, and then I'm going to, just so it gives you a bit of time. Eve, Eve is saying she's had a lovely Saturday evening, and uh, it's cooking with Aunt and Elliot. Oh, wonderful. I hope Elliot's enjoying it. Can you pass me on the puff pastry? We would like to see some pictures, wouldn't we, from them? My gosh, I would. I always love the pictures when they come in. I really do. It's when, You know, it makes it all worthwhile for me. And a crucial, crucial question of the night. Yes, day. yes. Where's the hairband? Actually, good question. I ought to put that on, actually. Where's the hairband? Okay, my bandana is next door, and I should actually put it on. It's true. Well done for noticing that. Great little comment here from uh, Courtney, who has said, Hubby said, if Rosemary stops these lives, she will be eating things on the ocean. <laughs> That's quite funny. <laughs> that is funny. There we go. These are so nearly ready. Right. Right. Okay. So we're getting there. I think this will have to be, I'll tell you what I might do. I might pop this lot in, actually, just one lot in. Otherwise, you know. So let's do it on one line. 
Otherwise, it could take all day. And if I don't have them ready for you, you'll be very upset. Right, what we're going to do now is just cut. There we are. I think what I'm going to do is just see how many I can cut. So let's do the middle first. One. Oopsie. I think if I get three out of that, that's the way to do it. Yeah. So we'll do that. 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 Okay, is that looking nice? That. 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 Right. This is just you know, the first lot to go in, because I don't know where they're going to put all these, all these sausage rolls, but we'll probably find a place for them, no doubt. Right, pop this in. So, now what you do is, when you do this, it's really important, you, really important, leave space. See, I need um, to... Uh, so, we've got a question here, um, Jeff. Yep. From Amy. Yeah. Is the pastry doubled up? Is it doubled up? Uh, no, it's not doubled up. It's because what happened to the pastry? It comes like that. Because it's bought puff pastry. Yes. It comes like that. It looks, actually, it looks as if you're actually, that's a really observant thing to actually say yeah. because it really does look as if it's doubled up but it's not um you can do it in two singles here we go and, right and Dave, Dave, our friend Dave. oh hi dave how uh, are you so which is the best method for puff pastry folding in the block of butter into the pastry or having the butter roughly chopped into the flour no that's rough puff different right what the best way to do it is to do it with a, what i call a paste mostly butter and a bit of flour in the middle bring it over i'll give you a, i'll give you a puff pastry class one day if anybody wants one i'll do one um but I'll, I'll do that no no block in the middle bring it all fold it all over but then if you're doing rough puff then you spot it all over you put it in it's a different rough puff that it's different apart from rough puff although you have to fold it the same way three ways i'm just going to pop this in the oven let me just get this done. Okay. Oh, this is so funny. I'm going so quickly. I'm trying to go so quickly so you don't... Um, don't rush greatness. Uh, don't rush. Did you hear, Tom? Typical. Don't rush greatness. No, I agree with him, actually. Definitely don't rush greatness. Making sure those tins are really boiling hot. Right. Now, I always do that to my scones as well. I put my scones in on hot trays. Anything like that goes on hot trays. Anything with puff pastry to get the, gets the bottom done. There we are. Now, what I do with the top, how good is that? What I do with the top is I get a Stanley knife. I'm not speculating. And what I do is I just literally one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's all I do. I use my standing knife a lot in um, pastry. And can we ask, you know, you said put the trays in the oven and make them very hot. Why is that? Because it cooks the underneath of the puff pastry. And what are you doing there? I'm just putting a little decoration on the top. <laughs> I can't get an angle there, so I'm doing it just like that. Right, okay, let's get them in. Are there different decorations? Yes, of course you can. Absolutely, but we won't go there today. Now, we're going to put the first lot in. So, in we go. That's why I did it on the paper. See how easy that is? Right. Right, okay, so next bit. I'm going to carry on now with these other bits of puff pastry because of this lot wanting it all, wanting me to carry on. So I'm going to carry on because we've got time. So those who, who are still carrying on, there's still time. My first lot are in. So let's get that in. And please tell me when time is up for about 20 minutes, please. Okay. 
right now here it goes so if you miss the first bit you can now get it on this bit so flower there we go I love puff pastry. I love doing puff pastry. I must actually give you a class at some stage of how to what to do with leftover puff pastry because there's so many sweet things you can do. It's unbelievable. Now, okay, take that out of the way. Right. There we go. So, good. So, we're going to turn it around this way a bit. So, off, oh, off we go. Next bit. So this time. So good question, actually. Yeah. What would you use for a perfect vegan sausage roll? Oh gosh, I would. You probably use beans and mushrooms and things like that. We did lots of with actually lots of herbs. It'd be lovely. I'm going to do these. Okay, I'm going to do the lengths, lots of lengths, okay? I'm going to do it slightly differently this time. I'm going to make it slightly smaller, so I'll make them slightly smaller, so they'll take less cooking. Right, next one, do it here. There we are. It's interesting, isn't it? It's good. Who wouldn't like, who doesn't like sausage rolls? Seriously, who doesn't like sausage rolls? They're not good for us though, are they? A, you know, that's a bummer in life. Everything that's delicious is not good for you. Right, okay. But you can enjoy yourself. Another, another one. Mm -hmm. So, okay, so we're going to do the three. Start off with that. And I've got another bit here, so we'll make more. Like, let's put them together. Right, so what I'm going to do now is, um, here we are, bring it together. We're doing well. We're doing very, very well, may I tell you. Right, this is what you call speed. Just wash my hands now. So, this is what you have to do. I'm going to turn this off, actually. This is what you have to do uh, when you actually, um, when you're making a lot. Right, okay, so I'm just going to do this. It's fine. Right, just keep going. So you're not putting the bowl up twice, you're not doing anything twice, you're just putting it together. Right, okay, so we'll just bring this in. So with everything else, bring it round, bring it in. So you really like a sushi, bring it round and cut it. One. Perfect. Perfection. Right, one, bring it round, up, round, like that, like that. Bring it in, take it round, like a sushi. Okay. It's fun, isn't it? Doesn't take much. It really doesn't. And the thing is, you can oh, do so many in one go. Right, next one, take round. There we are. Right, so off we go. Round, do it, do it, do it, and around. Right, another one. Done. Now I was able to do that really quickly for you. Okay, so you could see how quick. Now I'm going to do a final one here, which is a little one. Okay, now in fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you, I can do two lines. If I put this in there, and if I put this on there, okay, I'm going to show you. No point in. There we are. I just bring it together. There we are. Oh, delicious. How lovely is that? There we are. Gorgeous. Oh, good question. What? Um, my goodness, we've got a great question from Eve Waterson. Yeah. Is there something sweet and quick you can do with the leftover pastry for dessert? Oh, yes. Uh, yes, you can make it. Instead of rolling it in pastry, roll it in icing sugar yeah. and put it flat on a tray in the oven 
and then put some fruit on the top and you've got a lovely caramelized puff pastry. I mean, this is, a, this is an interesting one um, from, from Courtney. Um, her doggy Bella is watching you on telly. Oh, is she enjoying it? Can you, can you make doggy treats and doggy rolls? You can't just make raw pork. Well, you? yes, you do. Well, you wouldn't give them raw pork, no. But why not? If they've been good, make some, get some doggy meat, get a bit of beef or something, beef stew, they'd love it. Uh, and also, I, I have to say, amazing, have you ever tried a great sausage roll? I've never, sorry. And what's the best sausage roll you've ever tasted? Is there any one that's taken your fancy? Mine. Oh. Mine. Mine are the best sausage rolls ever. Cheese and onion sausage rolls, any, any, any no. competition there? No, there's lots of good sausage rolls out there. Believe me, there's some wonderful sausage rolls. The only thing I don't like is, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't like it when the sausage rolls are really thick, so there's so much of it. That upsets me slightly, but they are delicious. You see them in fairs, and they're absolutely yummy. But that's what I'm thinking. They really are thick. I recommend it. But they are lovely. I mean, you know, people are, they make the most delicious sausage rolls, people. Um, and these fairs and these festivals, they're delicious. Right. Have you got any gin tonight? Uh, I definitely am going to have one after this, after the internet exp um, exp um, expose and coming on late. Did I stress? I thought I, thought I was going to have to do it by your telephone. Really, by telephone. Right, okay, so there we are. How good is that? Now, what I'm going to do now is just put that there. Right, can you ask me that paper, please? Just do that there. Now, you'll be glad to hear, at least they will. I'm nearly finished. We've done a lot of sausage rolls. I'm actually going to turn this down a little bit. I'm turning mine down to 180, guys. Now I'm turning it up to 200. <laughs> no. no, I'm turning it up to 200 because they hadn't done anything. Oh God. Sorry guys. If yours haven't done anything yet, turn them up. Is that funny? I don't know why. I think some might have happened to my oven. I don't know. It seems to be not cooking as fast as it should be. Right, so let's just do this. One, two, three. There we are. So I'm going to do the same here. But they are looking good. There we are. They are looking really good. Now, if I can get that. There we are. So, what have we done? We have done the... Delicious. How are we doing for time, by the way? Because I want to know. Um, you're Brilliant. I mean, I'm not sure all these will be done, but the other lot will be. The first lot I put in will be. So that's why I had to get the first lot in. Um, so what have I done? I've done the baked beans. Baked beans are finished. And may I tell you, I haven't shown you yet, but they do look simply gorgeous. So um you've done the sausage rolls now the baked beans will keep for a long quite a long time uh so what i would do is put them unless you've got a vacuum packer um you can you can freeze them if you want freeze them it's always good so they get them out these sausage rolls can be frozen as well it's lovely to have a few frozen sausage rolls okay one more so, okay, this is so delicious. Right, okay, here we go. Oh, just a very interesting, oh, hold on. Another interesting oh, question. Get rid of that. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. Okay, far away. From, uh, from uh, Jasmine. 
Yes, Jas uh, hi Jasmine. Jasmine is a sausage roll maker. Oh, hi Jasmine. Now you could probably teach me a thing or two. What unusual or interesting flavor combo do you recommend for the for the sausage maestro? Okay. I'll tell you what. I quite like I quite like curries. You know, lovely curried meat or garlicky provencale that sort of thing. I think what you do is you just do what you like yourself. I, I mean, they're, they're endless combinations, endless. But the main thing is, and I'm sure if you are a sausage meat person, you obviously source your sausage meat, which is really important. It's a good product. Now, the other thing is, um, so you've got that. Or you basically, um, you can just do whatever you did. For me, I just, I for me, I love this leek one. This leek one's gorgeous because, you know, I don't think you need to do a lot with sausage rolls because you just need to put, as you say, good flavors in them. And when they're good flavors, I like chorizo in mine. A little bit of chorizo is lovely and smoked paprika maybe, which is obviously in it, so it'll be fine. Uh, those sort of things, but I... It's rather like scotch eggs. Personally, I like a scotch egg to be a scotch egg. You know, I don't, there's certain things. I'm a bit old fashioned that way. I like things to be just normal, really. Don't get me wrong. I love experimenting. No, I do all that all the time. I'm always experimenting. But it's just what it is. It's just literally, there we go. Just getting it so it's having it so it's delicious. That's all you need. And it's cooked properly. It's just really good quality meat. Oh, good question. That's what I'm after. Are they best frozen, cooked, or uncooked? Oh, you know what? Frozen is just as good when they get frozen. Are they cooked or uncooked? Oh, I see. Are they cooked or uncooked? You can do them uncooked. You can froze them from uncooked. Absolutely. If you've got too many, just put them in the freezer. Uncooked. As long as your pork mince, obviously, it was fresh and wasn't... That's all you have to make sure. Right, I'm nearly done now. This does, this is the boring part actually. This does take quite a long time. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to pop these in. Are they doing it? Are they enjoying it though? I want to know if people are enjoying it. Oh, I'm so pleased. Good. I'm so pleased. Can you check the beans? Yep, I'm going to. No, when these are in, I decided I wouldn't show anybody the beans until these are in the oven. That's it. Now they'll be in. Right. Stanley Knife, where are you? See, I reckon with that bit, I can actually finish that. I'll just finish it with a little round one. Right. Okay. There we go. So much easier with a Stanley Knife. It really is. So much easier to to sort of put a cut, it's like I use it for my bread as well. I use it for everything. Right, top tip, top tip. Now, here we are. Okay, they're being very busy, silence. Slightly different from last week, guys, isn't it? I did enjoy it though, he's such fun. He's bananas, but he's like me, bananas. Right, here we go. Oh, that's the side one. So let's go with a hot pan. Where's my, oh yeah. Okay. Mm, yum. Um, yes, yeah, so I've got to show that. Um, Heather, Heather, yeah. our friend Heather, is Let's... so excited for these ones. Really? Yeah, very excited. Oh, how wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just going to turn these around. These ones are not quite cooked, but nearly. I'm just going to turn these around. I've had to turn them. I really had to turn them up. There we go. Right. So I'm going to actually turn them up to. I've now turned. Them, <laughs> I've now turned them up to. <laughs> I've turned them up now to. I've turned it to two ten. <laughs> Can't believe I'm doing this. Right, this is only for fun, guys. I don't expect you to do this. It's just I can't bear to to um, lose that last bit. So, last bit of pastry. 
Last bit. That's it. Yeah. Let's find. There we are. Right. All I'm going to do now is take this, bung it in. There we are. Like that. Do a round. There we go. Bring it round. Okay. I should do that the other way. Bring it round. Bring it on. There we go. Right. Just do a little round like that. Okay. That's all you need to do. And all I'm going to do is just uh, uh, just cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Ah, oh, my molds aren't there. No, I'm just going to cut it with my knife. I've moved everything around since doing the cupboards. Right, and all you do is, when you're doing anything like this, okay, if you're doing anything like this, like a little round thing, okay, make sure it's well done. Um, I'm going to egg it all over, and then when you egg it, that's when you, you put your knife all on it. There we go. Make it. I'm going to clean up. Perfect. You, what you do is, okay, you do not use a Stanley knife. You take the back of a I'm just gonna I need to clear up actually. You take the back of a uh here we are. you take the back of the knife and what you do is you put it up in your hand as I do and I take you don't want to cut it through just like this so it's it's like a little pretty there we are just rough but that gives you an idea okay just bung it in there we are. That's ready to go in. So, okay. So basically, that's it. So we've used it all. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, before I show you the baked beans, I want to clear up my mess here because I think it's awful. So I shall clear this up. So now I use my wonderful scraper cost me two pounds 59 it's um it was a paint scraper i love it i've had it for 40 years i love it right do you know why i love it i love it because it's very thin so it really gets you know doesn't leave anything behind especially when you're doing lovely roasters and you're shaking them it's perfection right yeah See how it's sticking in. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> right. <coughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Right, here we go. <coughs> okay. <coughs> It's all right, it's all right, it's all right. I know we <coughs> Sorry, guys. I will do in a minute. Can you get me some water? It's all right, it's not. Guys, it's not COVID. Sorry, it's not COVID. I promise you, I'm all right. Okay, I'm all right. 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 <coughs> no, no, it's hot. Right, okay, let's do this. Oh. There we are. Now, I just had to do that, everybody. Thank you so much. I had to do that because if I didn't, it would be lawful. Now, let's have a look at this. This, first of all, the sausage rolls. Let's see how they're getting on. I know you want to see the beans, and you will see the beans in a minute. Okay, to be honest with you, I'm going to give them five more minutes. So let's just talk about these beans. Oh, okay. Let's just take this off. I need to go in. So here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are we under the light? Okay. Just about. Uh, where do I go? There? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Ta da! -da! 
Oh, they look wonderful. Right. Okay, now. Look, look at that. Now that. Oh my gosh, that's made beans for you. Isn't that delicious? That. So I've got a question actually. Far away. Now, that all those baked beans, how much does that cost? Uh, just a packet of dried uh, dried beans and bits and pieces, uh, no more than probably about um, two pounds, fifty. Two pounds. Something like that. Mm, no, three. That's Judas food, isn't it? Yeah, it's. By about three quid because I had a tin of tomatoes, but they're, they're about 50p, something like that. So, nothing now that will feed loads of people. That I must tell you, I don't have to add anything to it. Nothing that is that is that is perfect baked beans. I love parsley through it, so you don't have to have parsley through it, but I like it because it gives it a bit of funness and a bit of edge. Okay, so there is nothing like your homemade baked beans. Now, I'm hoping that yours are just as good. I really am. I'm going to need some photographs, to be honest with you. Look at that. Oh, they are lovely. They really are. They are quite frankly delicious. Now, if you want to make it a bit more liquidier, a liquidier, a more liquid, um, you can do. Now, can you pass me that black dish? One of those black dishes, please. Thank you. One, that's fine. Thank you. Oh, right. Now, so for your supper, you've got these lovely baked beans. Okay. Now. Sausage rolls out. So let's go for it. Well, let's go for it. So. Oh, wow. Look at these. Now, I'm just going to pop these up the top. So. Okay, I'll probably put these in, to be honest with you, for when I heat them up again. Just a question, could they use any other beans? This is from Matthew, uh, for baked beans. Oh yes, of course you can, you can use anything. Um, butter beans, anything. Um, yes, of course, absolutely no problems at all. No problems. Um, so, uh, just hide that one. Uh, Jade is saying, her beans seem a bit runny. Right. Okay, yes, absolutely. What I would do is take the beans out, Jenny, take them out and reduce the liquid. Just reduce the liquid, okay? Because obviously made a bit too much liquid. Or, you know, sometimes those tin beans don't take on the liquid as mine, as mine have. Um, that's the problem. But it's an instant situation. It was the only thing I could do. Uh, but it's the same. It should be the same amount. So just, re just, just reduce the liquid. Not a oh, not a problem. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to sit down, guys, and talk to you. So I think, first of all, so how long would the sausage roll be for? Twenty minutes. Uh, they can do with twenty-five minutes. To be honest with you, mm. I turn them down to. Um, I turn them down, I turn them up <laughs> to 250 because there's something wrong. My oven is not as hot as it should be, so it's a bit of a problem. And the other question is, would you mind just showing the sides so they can get some sort of structure of your sides as it looks as well? Yes, of course. So there we go. Say they're a good inch and a half, two inches? They're probably two inches long. Oh, they're probably two inches long. Okay. I might taste one. And don't remember my mouth. Yes, lovely. Oh my god. Now, yes, I will. Now, what is interesting is, you know, I put that sage in, I said it's strong. That sage is coming through fast and furiously. It's interesting. It is really strong. You do have to be careful. I love it. 
but you do oh the chili in there's delicious too oh everything it's all coming through so actually <coughs> i absolutely adore it it's not too chilliish, but uh, i'll have a bit of water <coughs> just to help it down now can I ask you, are there any, are there any um, questions, please? Just do ask me, because we were on the late. Um, mm. Actually, I think everyone is really enjoying you watch your eat your foot roll. <laughs> your baked beans look amazing. Those baked beans are, quite frankly, delicious. They really are something else. I think we're getting quite close to dinner. Mm. Oh. Mmm. Yum. Mmm. They are the best sausage rolls I've ever tasted. Okay, guys. Listen, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're gonna make your own baked beans now because seriously, they're not they do not take long to do. They're quite fun. And um and they're very healthy. They're lovely to have, as I said, with lamb, with pork, with anything. Treat it as a vegetable. Can we also give a, a, a final shout out to Great Garnets? Because how was the... the, uh, the Can I tell you, that meat, that sausage meat, and I'm not just saying this, is utterly delicious. In a way, that's what makes it. To be honest with you, having such great meat, such great flavour in the pork, just makes it utterly delicious. So thank you very much. And I mean that seriously. It makes all the difference when you've got a great product. It really does. So where are they based, Tom? Uh, around the corner. They're based in uh, High Easter in Essex. Okay, right. Everybody pop down there and have a look because it's really well worth it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. I, I am so sorry about the technical um, hiccup at the beginning, but you know what? We got it right. Poor, I poor um, Luca and Tom were absolutely being going frantic with it all. Um, me, I was just enjoying myself, sitting back on my perch, enjoying things and giggling because, you know, because it doesn't really matter. We would have done it on the mobile, you know me. So otherwise, but you know, they did a good job. So well done, Tom. Well done, Luca, for doing say, it. We've got a very interesting here question just to come out uh, with uh, from uh, Matthew, who went out and bought a KitchenAid based on your advice. Oh, and? And just wanted to know, loves it, but wanted to know if the mincer attachment is worth it. Yes. Yes, it is. Did you buy the mixer? Uh, well, just the kid loves it. Oh, uh, I have to tell you, the mixer, go, take it all. I love it all. I love it. I've got a mincer. I love it. Absolutely enjoy it. So KitchenAid, hashtag KitchenAid. Um, love it. Okay. It's all hashtag KitchenAid. Fabulous. Okay. Oh, okay. One other thing. Love it, love it, love One it. One other thing to say. Oh, oh. Send in photos. Oh, please send in photos. You know how I love that. Please send in your photos. I want to see what your I want you to see. Dave, I know you've done baked beans and I know you love them and I'm so excited. But you know what? Um and I'm sure Dave, you actually soaked yours too, knowing you. Uh but, you know, just enjoy, okay? Just enjoy it. And I will see you next week with a lovely lamb casserole for Easter. And in fact, what I'm going to do is, you're going to do it on the day. It won't be cooked completely at the end, but you'll be able to have it for Sunday lunch. So it's a Sunday lunch, Easter lunch one, because it's really special. I will be cooking one in advance to show you how it's meant to be. Um, I'm, I'm actually using shoulder of lamb. Uh, because I think it's tastier shoulder rather than leg. And also leg is a lot more expensive. So shoulder of lamb, make sure you've got enough meat there. Okay. All right. Have a whole shoulder. Okay. Take care. Get them to burn it. The butchers to burn it for you. Do it all for you. But a couple of inch um, wide. Okay. For your um, meat itself. I'll talk to you next week. I'll see you next week. Bye for now. Have a great week. Bye.